everyone, and welcome to a knockout round edition of Instant Replay, where I give you my take on the most controversial plays from Wednesday's matches. I'm Simon Borg. We start at Toyota Park, where the Red Bulls open the scoring after just seven minutes on this goal by Bradley Wright Phillips. But was he offside on that chip pass from Damian Perinel? Assistant referee Corey Parker keeps his flag down, and I agree. He looked even to me. Now, our friend Soccer Photogrammetry on Twitter says he may have been off by about three inches. That would have been way too tight to overturn. I think that's a good call. The Fire were down 2-0 at home early, and they were claiming for a penalty at the half-hour mark, but I thought referee Ismail Elfath did well not to call a foul in the box here. For me, that's two players making a fair challenge for a 50-50 ball, and I thought Juninho just lost his balance. And there was also no foul on Chicago's Matt Polster, who takes a tumble, but there's no contact. And as we saw during the broadcast, the plays were checked, but no video review was necessary. Now to a potential turning point in the match just after halftime, when we saw a kick out by Red Bulls goalkeeper Luis Robles on Chicago's Joao Meira, who was challenging for the ball on the goal line. And it looked to me like Robles took exception to Meira making that challenge, and he flung his left leg first, and then he swung his right leg, making contact with the fire player. I, I swear, I wasn't trying to make contact with anyone. I have a very tender Achilles, and I felt like someone was going to land or kick me, and I, I just was trying to make sure that nothing happened to my Achilles. The referee calls the foul on Meta. Play resumes with the free kick. Red Bulls win 4-0 and advance to take on Toronto. Next up, Vancouver, where the visiting San Jose Earthquakes were down 1-0 when they were appealing for a penalty just before halftime. And if we slow the play down, it does look like Vancouver defender Kendall Waston has both arms on top of his San Jose counterpart, Victor Bernardez, preventing him from jumping for the ball. If it's anywhere on the field, I think it's a foul. Referee Jose Carlos Rivero does not judge it to be a foul in the box and doesn't point to the spot. Those two guys, Bernardes and Waston, they were doing anything and everything to stop each other in this one. Earlier in the match, on the other end of the field, Bernardes literally tore Waston's shirt off in an attempt to stop him. In the end, the Caps rolled over the Earthquakes 5 sip to advance to face rival Seattle, and the third goal in the 64th minute really put this one out of reach for good. And credit to assistant referee Adam Winkowski, who kept his flag down for the entire play. And he was right. There was no offside here, or here, or here. That's all we have for tonight. We'll see you back here for the second half of the knockout round matches on Thursday. Until then, for our editor, Rich Hernandez, I'm Simon Borg. See you next time.